Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Tuesday, January 30th, and we started with snacks and snakes. So snacks, I'm going to bring some snacks to watch the game. And it has the ah, so open, keep your jaw very open and your lips back. Snacks. Snakes is the A vowel. So start with A, your jaw is not too low, A, and your tongue rises. I'm afraid of snakes. Uh, reluctant. You can say re, reluctant, but the re is not stressed, so it's more likely to change to re, reluctant. And when you finish with the T, hold it there. You don't have to release the T sound. We were very reluctant. So very, when you say that, you're saying re. And if you say reluctant, you're going to hear two re's. Very reluctant. If you change the re to re, you'll hear very reluctant. Very reluctant. And this means don't say the K, reluc. Just hold the K, reluctant. Unaware. The stress is on the end. Unaware. Umpire, the stress is at the beginning. Umpire, uh, overtaken, second to last, overtaken. Destroyer, in the middle, destroyer. And then lots of syllables. Authoritarianism, authoritarianism. Um, remember that the I and the A here are going to be separated Ian, authoritarian. And whenever you have the ending ism, it really sounds like, um, I'll put it here, ism, it sounds like ism, ism. Well, I guess it was zim, ism. So it doesn't look like it, but there, between this s and the m, we have to make some kind of noise to make that transition from z to m, ism. So that's where the extra syllable comes in there, and that's why these are divided into two. Authoritarianism. Clangor. This is the ng combination, ang, like sing. So the tongue goes back up on the top of the roof of the mouth and then slides back so that you don't hear the g. Otherwise, it'd be clangor. But it's clangor. And it's not wrong if you do say the g, like hanger. I'll make this bigger so you can see. Hanger is the same situation. You can say hang with the back of the tongue touching the top of the mouth and sliding back, and you won't hear a hard G, hanger. If you do come down, gur, you'll hear that hard hanger, and it's not wrong. It's just not as common for American English as without it. Clanger, like hanger. And one I have to watch my accent on. Empire with an E like head. Empire. And this is another one where the A and the O next to each other go in separate syllables. So you hear each of them. Aorta. And the T changes to a D because it's between two voiced sounds. Aorta. Now, <laughs> length or length or length. There's three different ways to say length. I'm doing the these two that are more common, length or length. I, in my dialect, say length, so I think that's easier. Wavelength or wavelength. Dawn, if it's spelled with a capital letter, is usually um, a person's name. If it's spelled with A-W, it's usually a, a woman's name. And if it's just a D-O-N, it's usually short for Donald, which is a, a man's name. If it's a little d, then it's dawn like sunrise. So they, oh, they all sound the same. <laughs> dawn and down. So dawn, the lips are just straight up and down. Ah, dawn. And down, you start big, ow, and get smaller. Down. Weary. You use the E, tongue's very high, weary, and wary. It looks like an A, but it sounds like E, eh, like head. So if it helps you to think of it like where, or uh, like where are you, or what are you going to wear, they all sound the same. Wary. Leafy, leaf, and leaves. Now this S sounds like a Z, because your voice has been on the whole time for L, E, V, Z, leaves. And you'll hear the Z if there's um, a word after it that has a vowel. That leaves a, that leaves a lot of room for error. <laughs> error. That's kind of a weird word. Hollow. This is a. So open. Keep your jaw very open and your lips straight. Hollow. 
halo. It doesn't look like it, but this A is an A, like a hey. So your tongue has to rise, halo. And the O, I put O-U to remind you that it's not just a pure O, halo, halo, but starting with a uh and moving to U. O it has two parts. Uh, hollow, halo. Flash, open a lot, ah, flash. And flesh, keep your jaw more closed, eh. So you want to be sure that you're using the right vowel when you say flash drive, fla flash drive. Oops. Flush. <laughs> uh, this is just low in the middle. Flush. Don't forget to flush. Plumber has the same uh vowel. Plumber. Same uh. Fluttered. And hold the D instead of fluttered. Releasing it, just hold it in that position. Fluttered. Rather. This is a a uh, and the th is bold because it's the voiced v. Rather. Would you rather be invisible or uh, be able to fly? <laughs> Rouse ends with a D. You won't hear it. You'll go from the Z and then just go to the D to stop the airflow. Rouse. Tucked. This is an ED that sounds like a T because the final sound in the word before you added the ED was tuck, k, was voiceless. K, so it sounds like a voiceless T, tucked. This ED sounds like a D because the final sound before you added the ED was voiced, z. So if your voice is on, leave it on, rouse. If your voice is off, tucked, leave it off. So you won't hear it if you just say it by itself, tuck. But you'll hear it if there's a word after it with a vowel. So tucked in. Now it'll sound like, scoot over, tucked in. You won't hear the K, tucked in away. Same thing. The T will connect. And that's where we ended. We didn't get all the way through, but almost. So it's good to see everybody. And I hope to see you again next Tuesday. Have a good day.